Hey folks, uh, coming on here real quick because I wanted to show you some things. Um, last week we did a training on the levels of creating online income and I got a overwhelming amount of emails back to me of people who said they want to grow an online brand but they don't want to show their face. And so I understand that and I wanted to come on here real quick to show you some options you can have. And if anyone joins me live and they have questions, then we can go over the questions. If not, I just wanted this video to go up so that people can see it. Now, a uh, fun fact, before I went live, forgot to shut the window. And so <laughs> all types of interesting sounds may come from outside, but don't be alarmed. So again, I'm gonna go over some websites and some blogs. Um, hey there. Um, I'm gonna go over some websites and some blogs so that you can see what I'm talking about in regards to these individuals grew their brand without showing their face. So if that is you, if, if you are not putting yourself online because that freaks you out or it makes you nervous or you're just not comfortable, that is okay, all right? So hopefully by the end of this, you will see some examples of um, some folks that will show you how you can take whatever you know in your particular industry and apply that so that, hey there, um, so that you can do this in your own business, okay? So let's jump onto my computer screen. Okay, so let's just look at a couple of examples of some people who've done a really great job in regards to showcasing what they enjoy and what they love or what they're selling without showing their face and even though i'm bringing you to this blog and it has a picture of him take my word for it on all of his videos his cooking videos i've been an obsessed fan of his for years he does not show his face so he has some wonderful amazing recipes and he doesn't just show you how he cooks it just take a moment and check him out he has a youtube channel which i'm also going to show you but he does just an amazing job of look, making the food look appetizing and easy to do. So he specializes in, I think, assuming that the food takes about 30 minutes. That's always what I assume. It always takes me longer. Um, but just let's look at some of the ways that he's monetizing even on the blog. So we can see there are some ads on the blog. Here's a large one here. And here's another one here. So in order to sell space on your blog, you typically need more than 30,000 people in order for it to be advantageous. And there's various companies that will um, give you money for letting, letting for advertising on your website. But until, again, you build the audience and you have enough people, don't stress over that. Just know that these are some of the ways that you can monetize your blog. So again, so he has ads and he probably has a variety of other maybe affiliate programs. I don't know. I don't know them. I just watch. Um, so here is some ads here that don't necessarily relate to cooking but what this which what i'm assuming is this may be a dynamic ad so if people have already been on a website you know how certain ads will follow you if you're on this website i wasn't on this website far as i know but <laughs> yes yeah, so ad advertising is one of the ways that he can can monetize his blog without showing his face so he did a picture you don't have to do a picture but also let me show you his youtube channel again there's a picture of him don't be alarmed um, most of the time, if you look at the videos, he's never shown in the video, right? So the good thing about that, because he has his blog and his YouTube uh, channel together, that way he's able to monetize with ads on YouTube and create that revenue stream in addition to on his blog and grow his brand on both channels. So whether it's Google search or Google video, you follow me? So yeah, that's a uh, recipe 30. If you haven't checked it out and you love food or you love to cook, you definitely should think about it. But also think about in your industry, is there anything you can literally show people to how to do having the camera on your hands? Are you an artist? Um, do you know, what is it that you do that you can show someone the actual um, project you're working on instead of your face? And you can just build content around that and you do not have to show your face in order to monetize, okay? so. I hope you'll you know feel that by the end of this. So this is um, Peach on a Leash, and they offer a variety of different services that they give. And these are pictures of animals on their website and on their blog. They are not well, and they're about. I'm sure they probably have a picture of them. But again, 
they are training and giving information in the area of dog training or probably services or products that could help dogs, right? So let's just head over to their blog really quickly. And let's just toddlers. Okay, and see down here, I see that there is ad space, okay? So they're, they probably have enough traffic in order to sell ads on their website. But I will say, um, you wanna, when you do your back end of your ads, you just wanna make sure that the ads are either consistent with your brand, like they make sense, like they're gonna be about something about dogs or pets or that type of thing, or it is a retargeting ad that is basically taking the ad from somewhere the user has been before. So this is a um, web browser I never use, and I clear all the cookies. So they, this is actually random stuff that they're putting up there that isn't necessarily based on what I search for or look for. Anyway, so let's say, we're just picking a random blog, what they could do after they write this very informative blog, the other way to monetize is to put links to products that you would recommend based on the topic that you're writing about. And basically all that is is affiliate marketing. And once you have a series of articles that pull that off, now you can start to monetize your blog accordingly. Don't get alarmed by what I said. I'll teach a training on that later. I just want you to be able to see that you can do this. You can go build your audience and you do not have to show your face. Okay. So let's look at this other one. This is a, a coding uh, website where this person shows you how to code. Coding is super technical. No one ever has to see your face. And so he's built a free guide, of course, to a blog and of course his courses. So again, Something like coding, no one has to ever see your face because really they're going to be looking at a computer majority of the time. So if you have good content, good valuable content, you can go ahead and monetize off this blog. I'm sure he's, you know, he has courses right here, so we know he's selling them. He doesn't have to even be in the video of the courses. It's just a matter of showing what he's doing. Um, let's see. Oh, he does have a picture of himself, though, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Okay. All right. So let me just show you some, a couple of YouTube channels that don't show uh, the face. So this is Future Tech. And they basically, in sites like these, I'm sure you've seen them like this uh, on various YouTube channels, where they can take the promotional video of the technology that they are showcasing. A lot of your listicles, your top 10 uh, warm blankets, your top 10 heating blankets is the word I was looking for. I just got another heating blanket. That's what I said in my head. But your top 10 tech listicles are usually people taking a bit of the promotional video that was provided by the company. So like if you are interested in a new camera, somebody on YouTube has probably done a, re done a review and they may have images of the promotional video that the company provided. They typically don't, they don't typically care because they want to sell the product. And if you take that and help them sell it, they'll do it. So what they do is they can do that in addition to using something like a Shutterstock. So Shutterstock are one of the many video, stock video photography type of websites. So you can get stock photography, you can get stock videos. So what this does, this helps you can further convey the thought. So these tech websites can take the promotional video and some additional uh, stock uh, video and bring that together in, as one cohesive unit and create a video in which on YouTube they can monetize on it. They may be Amazon affiliates in which if someone purchased it because they put the Amazon link there, they'll pay for it on Amazon and they'll get a commission. So there's a variety of ways that you can do this and pull this off and not have to show your face, okay? So here's another one. I just found this uh, YouTube channel. Um, I searched for homeschooling and this beautiful YouTube channel um, came up. And so I don't want to get any copyright infringement for uh, showing her video. It probably has an ad on it and I'll take out some space. But since I'm live, uh, <laughs> we won't do it. But it's Blossom Schoolhouse in these images and her quality of her video is really, really beautiful. She even has her daughter in it, but she doesn't show her daughter's face. Um, far as I know from just a short amount of videos that I watched. Um, but she does a very um, creative way of still getting the animation of her daughter, but still keeping her identity away and I just I think it's beautiful she so she gives her voiceovers and think about that is there something you can do or you can show or you can demonstrate and you just do that in video form um, with a voiceover you know you don't have to show your face and um, Blossom Schoolhouse does a, 
beautiful job in doing that. So um, check her out and I'll give you some, hopefully give you some examples. So again, if you're in crafts, you know, you can really get into some things here. So this is uh, Jacob. I don't know Jacob. I said that like I know him. But I've watched a couple of his tutorials of something I had to figure out and that's how I found him. And he has a growing YouTube channel where he uses um, this avatar, which I think is brilliant. He does the iOS um, avatar. And so he uses that to teach you throughout the um, trainings. Now, granted, I don't know if this looks like Jacob, but it doesn't have to. Um, so maybe you can think of an alter ego or animated character or something that's not necessarily you. You don't have to show your face, but you still have this person with personality, your alter ego or whatever. They can still create engaging content for your audience. So again, his face isn't on there. There is a face. I'm not sure if it's his, but um, it's electronic. So think about that. So again, we're going back to Shutterstock really quickly because there are tons of websites that you could use that could um, give you video. Now, I know some people may not want to do video. Um, you may want to stick in the blog or the writing sector, and that's fine. Um, because many of you know I do digital marketing for like that's my job. That video creates a level of analytics that you just can't get from pictures or images, which is why so many of the online platforms are pushing video so hard. So I don't know if you heard about Instagram, but Instagram basically is like, look, we don't care about pictures anymore. We care about video. So if you want to do video, there are these sites like this that can take the content that you have and you can use these videos as filler. Now, the videos are not free. Images are not free um, because you have to pay for licensing because somebody else created this for them, so you have to pay them for that. So this is not necessarily what I would recommend for my folks who are just starting out. But sometimes you can come on to these websites and see what the videos are and then it could get your mind thinking like, oh, well, I can just go shoot this myself and that can convey the point I want to add to my video. So maybe you can use it for some, some creative thought just to get your, get your mind and your juices flowing um, to figure out how you can convey what you want to convey for your audience um, through video. So Prezi, Prezi is a awesome software. I feel bad that I feel like people don't even mess with Prezi anymore. And Prezi has been out for shoot, at least a decade. I feel like I was an early entrepreneur before I met Prezi. But Prezi is such a cool software because if you think about PowerPoint or Keynote, um, sometimes people, people can see those and be like, oh, not another PowerPoint presentation. But Prezi does a really good job of creating animation for your thoughts and still making things look beautiful. So let me see if I can find some examples. So I get it. You could do a video too if you want to. I know they're showing their faces, but don't be alarmed. Hold on for a second. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So let's see if I can get you one of their templates so you can see what I'm talking about. Okay, see? See how that's moving and doing some things? And you like, okay, like, you know, it's so beautiful in action and then if you do a presentation, everybody's always on the presentation like, how did you do that? Like a lot of times when I used to use Prezi, um, I would, you know, do this in a, in a presentation. People are like, what, what, are you, what are you using? And you always want to keep um, your folks uh, like that, wondering so that you can um, continue to show your value, right? So Prezi is a really, really great software. And they do have, if I'm not mistaken, I haven't been here in forever. They do have a free version. So good guys, look, we're in the world of, you know, virtual events and that type of thing. People are doing Zooms. You can add this to your Zoom presentations and wow your audience and give them something new and animated that they haven't seen before. And that is what continues to increase your value because you, you're doing something different. You're being creative. So I really want you to check out uh, Prezi. And I'll try, give me a minute, I'll try to put the website's links to stuff. Um, I'm not affiliated with any of this stuff. I just wanted you to start to, to think about how you can do this so that you will get off of this and go implement or at least write down the list of things you need to do to get started, okay? <sighs> All right, uh, Animoto. Animoto is another old school banger that's been out for, shoot. And Animoto was like the first time when we didn't know how to put like, well, for people who didn't know, like major video editing software because i think back in those years it wasn't easily accessible to everyone as it is right now now you can have it on your phone 
But Animoto is also a great site for if you want to combine pictures and video and you want to put, um, you want to put, what am I saying, words on your video or just have something look dynamic. It's super easy. It is for those individuals who might be a little tech challenge. You don't want to go buying some expensive software, but you want to create some visuals. Like here are some examples here. Um, let me see if I can find, let's see. I don't know. Let's just go looking for this. What is that? So again, they bring in some pictures together. They're adding some video. They put some, so you could just make your presentation and have it, you know, look like that. You know what I mean? So check out Animoto and let's see what they're pricing. I think they have a free option as well. So you can play around you guys again you know i'm in europe so they're giving you all the europe stuff um play around with these different softwares and just see if it gets your mind kind of moving as to how you can take your brilliance make it visual or you know put it in writing but you don't have to show your face okay i don't want you to not grow your audience just because you don't want to show your face i get it showing your face is stressful <laughs> So that is Animoto. Check them out. And of course, everyone knows about Canva, right? Um, if you don't, please go check out Canva.com. It is a super, super awesome website. I swear I use it like every single day. Um, and check out of it in your home country so it won't say things in Portuguese. You guys know I'm in Portugal, so... Um, this is what you're going to get right now. But if you haven't heard of Canva, check them out. You can do videos. You can do presentations. It's very dynamic. It will create things for you in various social platforms um, if you want. So, yeah. Okay. So, I hope that got you, got you some ideas as to what you could potentially do to show, or excuse me, grow your audience without showing your face. So I came on here real quick. I didn't expect anybody was going to join me live. So if anyone has any questions while we're live, I'll go ahead and answer those. Um, if you don't have any questions, then I'll go ahead and hop on. Hey, good to see you. All right, let's see who we have. Good morning, good morning, good morning. From DC, yes. <laughs> okay, all right, we don't have any questions. I know that was, you know, something short, something quick. But again, if you um, were struggling in this area and you weren't creating content because you didn't want to show your face, I want you to go ahead and after looking at this video, go and write your action list on how you're going to um, grow your audience. You can pick the format uh, that you enjoy because that is the only way that you're going to do enough content to make it worth it, okay? So if you enjoy writing, you can look at blogs. If you enjoy video, of course, you can look at YouTube. But like we spoke about last week, don't stress about, oh my God, I don't know how to create a blog. You can get that information. The hardest thing is actually creating the content because what you don't want is you got all excited. You went and bought a hosting account. You went and bought a domain name. You did all this stuff. And now you have three articles <laughs> on your blog for the past four years. Okay, so that's not what we want. So that's why I'm always encouraging before you sign up for anybody's class, including one of mine, be sure you have the content and you built the content up first. I prefer 50 pieces of content. I know that sounds like a lot, but guys, we're talking about building a business. And what business do you think can be created with just three pieces of content? Like that's, let's just be logical on that. That's not a thing. So if you really want to do that, um, you're going to have to put the content out there. So just, if you start, just go ahead with 10 to 15. And if you have a rhythm and you know you can continue to produce, then you can go ahead and start it. And then hopefully that will give you the momentum you need. So I do think we have some questions coming in. Hello from England. Hey there. Uh, let's see. Good to see you. Welcome. Any questions? Thanks for the examples. Good. Does showing your face uh, yield? Let me get that. Hold on. Okay, uh, does showing your face yield more though? Yield more what specifically? When you said yield more, what do you mean more what? Um, do you think sensory videos like rain? Oh, that's a good question. Let's talk about that one. Oh, it's too big. Let me make it smaller. Can I make it smaller? Hold on, y'all. You know I struggle with the comments. Make this a little smaller. Let's do that. Let's see. 
All right. So do you think sensory videos like rain meditation videos is a good market for YouTube? Absolutely. I am sure that you have seen some on YouTube already. <laughs> um, and just to understand what the, um, what the market is, just Google it. Google or go to YouTube and type, you know, meditation video. See what comes up, number one. Um, see when was the last time they posted. How often did they post? What is the what do the things look like? Look do like do some reverse engineering. So if this is something that you want to do, see who's already doing it, what works, what doesn't work, what can help um give you some creative ideas, and then um from that you can get idea. But a lot of those sensory videos and the meditation videos, you know, it is a ton of people that are doing that and they are not showing their face. So if that's the direction you want to go, that's important. But the thing you have to remember about the meditation videos, most likely they're going to have music. So you want to make sure, again, it's going to add pricing to what you're doing because you're going to have to pay for uh, music that you have licensing to. Okay. So if you're just starting out and you don't want to pay that, then, you know, when you're just starting out, no one's really looking initially until you start to build your audience. So think about those uh, costs uh, when you decide to make that move. So I hope that that's helpful. Okay, so does it help with engagement? So it really depends on what your market is. Like we're talking about, we were just talking about the sensory videos. There are no videos on there. Oh, the A, what is it that the people watch just to, AMSR, I don't remember, but it's some category of stuff out there that people just watch people, random stuff, and it has a sound, it's relaxing, I don't know, but it's a whole category. No one's showing their face. So saying if it has, um, does it have more engagement, it's always, everything's going to depend on your industry and what you're doing. If you, again, if you're doing makeup tutorials, of course you're gonna need to show your face because that's gonna help you with your engagement. But if you're doing something like tech or crafts or um, anything like that, you don't necessarily have to show your face. And if you're doing a blog, you don't have to show your face at all if um, writing is more of the option. So don't let that stop you. Uh, you said, I only, I've also subscribed to people who only show themselves from the neck down. See, there you go. <laughs> so there's a, there's a way of showcasing your brilliance for everyone. So I just wanted to come on here real quick, give you some examples so that hopefully, um, It'll get your mind and your creativity flowing. But I didn't, I kept y'all longer than I had anticipated. If there's no more questions, I'm going to hop off because I didn't anticipate anybody would be here with me live. So until next time, guys, it was a pleasure.